Hi, I'm John Spencer Ellis, and welcome to Health & Wellness Today, where we bring you the world's top experts on health and wellness. Today, it's no exception. I have Leslie Scott with me. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. So what is your unique perspective on health and wellness? Well, I've come to realize over the years that um, just eating natural and healthy is not what people do without having to talk about it, have some discussion, um, even realize that they need to make some changes in their lives. Um, eating healthy used to be the thing that we did naturally, and we didn't call it eating healthy. So um, it's just a matter of learning, helping people learn how to eat better, how to even realize that they need to, and get them to the place of wanting to. So sometimes they're just unaware that the change is necessary. Yeah, they know they need the changes, but they don't know that how to get to that place of making the change. Like I said, when we were growing up, or when I was growing up, eating healthy was just what you did, and you didn't call it eating healthy. We're in a day where people don't realize that they're in need of eating healthy, thinking healthy, and uh, changing some habits. But you know, overall, they just, they just think that they're doing all right because this is what they were raised to do. This is how they've learned all their lives. Good point. Good yeah. Point. So what is your mission and what is your vision of how you can help people? Well, um, I've worked with, uh, actually, you know, not to sound like I'm bragging, but I've worked with hundreds of individuals that I've discovered and they've discovered as well that they've not been able to um, eat right, first of all, learn to change their habits. So what I'd like to do is create an environment where they can learn, where they could trust the relationship well enough to say I could tell them some things about me that won't embarrass me. And I know that I'm talking to someone who really wants to make a difference for them, as well as provide them with the tools to do this. Well, you say the environment, and, and you know, sometimes people are reluctant because it, it's a, they want to be able to feel safe. So how do you create an environment where someone feels safe and they have a, a willingness and a desire to talk about it with you? Listen to them and find out the important things that, things that are important to them. Uh, and from there, you can take and build on that. Uh, to just say, I can create that right out the gate, no. But what I do know is I can work towards helping them understand themselves, learn the relationship, learn, provide them what I have based on what they provided to me. And that comes through just listening, really. Agreed. And I know you're doing a lot of really great work. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about some of the services that you offer to help people? Okay. Well, I start first. Um, I basically um, would like to think when I'm entering into a relationship with someone, try to find out what it is about their behavior, what it is about their habits. I can uh, coach tobacco cessation. I'm a certified life, health, and wellness coach. So I am certified in these areas. I've worked in those areas. Um, again, I, I could coach on tobacco cessation, weight management, relaxation, mental imageries, um, as well as helping people realize that they, how to deal with stress, deep breathing, different areas in deep breathing, uh, getting that rest that you need, even as much as just to be able to, again, listen and hear them and prov provide that information back to them because that's how the difference is made, them really making the difference. So what we'll do is provide those services to help them embrace them and they become owners of what they've learned about themselves. It doesn't stay with me. It stays with them, and I promise that, actually, because um, it, it's you. It becomes individual that you're coaching with. If I understand what you're saying correctly, you're saying that in addition to you being a good listener, which is a, a great coach and counselor, you also teach them to listen to themselves, to the wisdom that they already have. That they already have. And so how do, how do you get that out of them, or how do, how do you hone that skill? Well, again, once you listen, and create that environment first and foremost that's safe, that they realize they can talk to you. Uh, provide them with the information that they told you. A lot of times people don't realize what they're telling you. They're talking, but they have no idea that they've just, once they're comfortable, they just start sharing information. And with that, you can take that information and provide it back to them. And chances are you're gonna tell them something they didn't realize they said. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that thing, that becomes a the thing they embrace. They use, that's that like, sort of like that aha. Oh, okay, you know, I didn't even realize I said that. I think what's interesting in those cases is people give you a, a, a bit of insight here and a little, they share a little more wisdom here, and there's one more example here, and they didn't realize that they just laid out all the pieces, and then with your skills and expertise, you're able to reassemble it, and then that, isn't that what allows them to kind of look and listen inward because of, of how that's pieced together? It really does. I mean, it's, it's really that simple thing where you're having discussions about people where a lot of times people can't really talk about themselves in a positive way. They're, they'll tell you all their, the, the things that didn't go right, but to sit and say, oh, this went well and this went well, that's a process they learn. 
it doesn't really just come naturally for people to sit and talk about how well they've done. And that's just by my experience with, uh, with individuals. They're willing to tell you what went wrong. But as a coach, I want you to tell me about what went right for you. And if you don't tell me, I'm going to listen and I'm going to tell you what, you what you did right that you didn't realize you, d you even actually did. That's right. They need to focus on what they want and Turn that be around. aware of what be they aware don't want, mm -hmm. but not necessarily focus on it. And aware of what they want. Let's not focus on what you don't want. Let's focus on what you want. But a lot of times they can't see it. They're already doing it but just a little bit here, a little bit there. So they tend to focus on the things that they're not doing well. Let's talk about what you're doing well and do more of it. What is one of your favorite or most compelling or heartfelt success stories? Oh gosh, there are many, but the recent one, and it resonates with me now, it's really good. I, um, I was doing a session with a group of women, young and older women. And uh, when we were done, I said, well, as a group, let, what goal would you like to set? If you were to set a goal, what would that goal be? And no one came up with the goal. No one said anything. They just kind of sat there. So I said, I tell you what, and I, you know, I asked permission, would it be OK if I set a goal for you? And they said, they kind of just looked at me. And I said, OK, I'm going to set this goal. I started to go with 30 minutes, but I thought 15, I'd be in that I'm, this is the first time experiencing this with them. <laughs> yes. So um, 15 minutes, I said uh, 15 minutes each day take 15 minutes out to relax. And they, oh, oh no, I can't do that. We don't have time. And after all this um, resistance, someone spoke up and says, why are we resisting this? When it's a healthy thing, it's, it's the thing to do. Yeah, unfortunately uh, conditioned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And not, at this point, we're in such a busy society where people don't really know how to sit down and just relax and be OK with that. And they have to learn it. Yeah, well, and I'm glad that you're able to help them, and it sounds like your programs are working really, really well. Other people are going to want to be able to be helped by you as well, so what is the best way for them to contact you? LSCoaching.com. Say it one more time. LSCoaching.com. 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 All right, we got it. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I appreciate welcome. it.